So I can't quite believe this is happening. I'm still sort of in a state of shock, but as you could probably tell from the intro, I have the keys to this brand new 2024 Julia Quadrifoglio, courtesy of Alfa Romeo Australia. How insane is that? This has been a car that I've been thinking about for the last seven years, and I've never once gotten behind the wheel of it, never even really started it up or heard the engine in person, and I've had this car now for the last week. I've been driving it around, using it as my daily, and it's just absolutely insane. So I wanted to share today what the experience with the Giulio Quadrifoglio is like, kind of a little bit about the car, why I love Alfa Romeo as a brand so much, um, and also how this whole opportunity came about as well. a twin turbo v6 ferrari derived engine ferrari won't admit that but it's basically a california t engine with two cylinders chopped off Woo. there we go and we're just going to cruise along so this is lake mountain road we're just going to cruise up and down here and just get a bit of a sense for the car and just enjoy it it's a really it's a beautiful evening oh coming in a bit hot Wow, it's so good. The power delivery is just insane. So yeah, what I wanna talk about today is kinda of how all this came about because I've been doing photography and content creation now for a couple of years since I started. Woo. And now like, the insane thing is one of my favorite brands, Alfa Romeo, they've given me my dream car for three weeks, maybe four weeks, depending on how we go. There we go. But I've got a pretty big history with the brand you know like I've loved Alfa Romeo since I was a little boy watching Top Gear and you know Jeremy always used to say if anyone remembers that you're not a true petrol head unless you've owned an Alfa Romeo and I think that really like I took that to heart as a kid and I was like okay you know I, if I want to be a true petrol head then I have to own an Alfa Romeo and since then, it's it, I've kind of been connected to this brand. It's it's still my favourite brand, despite everything that it's gone through in the early 2000s. You know, we were we were kind of stuck with front-wheel drive heavy cars that didn't have the you know a huge amount of performance. And then we had obviously the Giulietta that came out that kind of revived it. The hatchback, the Quadrifoglio model of that, the QV, fantastic little car. It was kind of a return to form a little bit for Alfa Romeo. Oh God, did I just hit a parrot? I don't know. I think I managed to dodge it. But yeah, it was kind of a return to form for Alfa Romeo when the Giulietta came out. And then I think around 2014, 2015, we started to get wind that Alfa Romeo were working on a sedan again. First sedan since the 159. And at that time, there were Ferrari engineers that were working with Alfa Romeo, and they came up with this amazing Giorgio platform that this Giulia Quadrifoglio and all Giulias and all Stelvios are based on. And gosh, it's just fantastic. Woo! 
the steering and just the way that it feels through the corners, it's just so flat. Just so nice to drive. So yeah, the, the Julia was announced in December of 2016, I think. Correct me on that in the comments. And ever since I first laid eyes on it, I was actually driving my first car at the time, which was an Alfa Romeo 159. Ever since I laid eyes on that Julia, I was just infatuated by it. Just the interior, the way it looked, everything. Like, it was just this amazing car. And I knew right then and there that I had to have one, especially when I laid eyes on the Julia Quadrifoglio. So, yeah, it's been seven years to get to this point. And obviously, I, you know, I started doing photography and social media back in 2022 just by going to car meets and taking photos and going to car dealerships and taking photos and you know because I've shown up and I've done everything that I've done in the last couple of years people started kind of noticing what I was doing and that involved Alfa Romeo which was so cool and right when so like my, my whole social media sort of journey really took off in 2023 the start of 2023 and I messaged Alfa Romeo on Instagram when it all started taking off and said that hey you know like I introduced myself hey I'm Ben you know I'm an automotive photographer and content creator based in Melbourne blah 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 and I kind of told them about my story with the brand I said hey I've loved the brand since I was a little kid watching Top Gear and you know, Jeremy Clarkson always used to say, you're not a true petrol head unless you've owned an Alpha. And my first car was a 159, and I'm currently driving a Julia that I'm loving, blah, blah, blah. And then I said, basically, and if there's any opportunities to collaborate with you, you know, I would, I would absolutely love any opportunities that you may have. And then that was it. You know, I kind of went quiet from there. I just kept doing my thing, kept growing on social media, kept posting, kept pushing my skills and, and trying to get better every single time I went out to shoot. And sure enough, fast forward 12 months from that initial sort of interaction with Alfa Romeo, I just get a message, I just get a DM, totally out of the blue, from Alfa Romeo, the Alfa Romeo Instagram account, saying, hey Ben, you know, we'd, we'd love the opportunity to jump on a call with you. And that was that was it. Like, it was such a random message. Woo. And that was all it was. And then I jumped at it. I was like, look, yes, let's jump on a call. And then I jumped on the call and they said, hey, we've got, the, we've got a Julia Quadrifoglio in Montreal green with your name on it. And you can have it when they said that I could have it for a few weeks that just blew me away so yeah now I find myself here I picked up the car a couple of days ago and I've been trying to plan what I what I wanted to do with the car and the first thing that came to mind was to just take it out on a bit of a drive and and let you guys know about my story with Alfa Romeo so yeah been connected with the brand without them ever realizing for pretty much my entire life and I've always loved cars and enjoyed cars and this brand's always been central to that. So, yeah, it's such, such a cool experience that now I get opportunities like this after pushing myself with the content creation side of things for so long. So, hopefully this is the start of many opportunities like this to come.